In this video, we're going to be talking about adult sites and adult content. We won't be beating around the bush, so it may not necessarily be suitable for a family viewing. Viewers discretion is advised. Help new Muslims in Africa. Every prayer, every Surah Fatiha they recite, you'll share in the reward. Your £50 will go towards sponsoring one person's education and meals for a month. 500 supports 10 and 5000 helps sponsor an entire village donate now assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of smile to jannah living here in the west pornography is something which is constitutionally protected as you guys can see it is causing the breakup of relationships it's destroying the innocence of our children and it's indeed leading to people getting blackmailed and eventually taking their lives and let it be known and let it be said anyone contributing to this industry is the radiation that is exacerbating this cancer in our societies that being said october 7th took place and the crimes of israel became apparent for the world to see that caused people to be more curious not only about Israel but the religion that they followed that they were using to justify these atrocities. But a lot of people started unearthing startling startling things and one such startling thing was that the owner of a majority of the pornography sites was a rabbi. Some dismissed it as a anti-semitic conspiracy. I mean a rabbi why sure it goes against his values but then some people hit back on x saying that they see themselves as a chosen people and everybody else is seen as fodder that is just there to facilitate them advancing in life so there was no real way of verifying this until recently the accused turned up on the PBD podcast, an hour plus long session in which the guy pretty much justified what he did and was trying to make it more acceptable. And a lot of people noticed that the colleague that he brought onto the show was strategically a woman and she was hanging a cross that was visible from her neck as if to placate the Christians that would be up in arms. So this yeah. says Solomon Friedman, a rabbi overseeing Pornhub, right? What a great way to go. I, there's Jeez, already just... falsehoods in that number one, right? <laughs> Which one is the falsehood, the rabbi part? Or... Well, I, I, was, I was educated as a rabbi. I never practiced as a rabbi. It's part of my education. Are you, are you Jewish or Jewish? What like... do you think? Solomon Friedman, this face, do you think I'm <laughs> Jewish or Jewish? Well, I say this, you know, I'll, I'll let you know Alex from the ALO perspective, mm -hmm. the, the company itself, I'm obviously in the ownership group. I don't know why he tried to frame it as if it's an untruthful statement he admitted it and i don't understand why his own have not refuted him yet uh, you got a family you got kids yeah how old are your kids sure so i've got uh, two 19 year olds and a 16 year old how you talk to them that you guys run this year before, just... before first of all I, I i don't run it i'm very proud of the people who do we bought it yeah. there's a difference i mean um, you're... but <laughs> technically oh, shut up do you think we're idiots i know we're the goyim but this is taking the mick, mate. But Patrick, before yeah. I did it, before I did this acquisition, I sat down with them and I laid out the plan. I said, this is what I want to do. This is, this is what my interest is. And obviously, I wear the, I wear the compliance hat in the ownership group. Um, I want to raise the standards here. I want to invest in trust and safety. I want to keep kids off the platform from viewing it. And you know what's funny? Uh, my kids have been raised by a criminal defense lawyer. That, that, that's, that was my first career, 15 years in criminal defense. And my daughter said to me, she said, hold on, you defend people who are legitimately doing wrong things. You do that as a defense lawyer, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know why I do that, they understand. They're probably more about the criminal justice system than most. And here you have a company that wants to get it right, that wants to improve. How, why wouldn't you do this? Like, it was just a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. Maybe the, you know, the wisdom of the young there. How did he say so much without saying anything? You know what the bottom line is? The bottom line is his kids don't know. <laughs> it doesn't have that legitimacy. Uh, and one of the reasons for that, and we started to examine the business further, was that Nobody wanted to say, we are the owners of a major adult company, right? Everyone, they sort of, they wanted the benefits of owning a major adult company. It's a profitable business, but nobody wanted to be out front and engaging with other tech businesses, with government, with law enforcement, with regulation in, in that sort of way that m the modern tech industry has to. So we saw in that this arbitrage opportunity, right? Where if people who come from, you know, the mainstream professional networks, whether it's law, law enforcement, tech, finance, et cetera, this is an opportunity to really bring this industry into the 21st century. And, you know, you don't want to have a society where everybody thinks that's the, the sort of pinnacle of beauty, of sexuality, et cetera. What actually happens now with the content creator world mm -hmm. is that 
porn looks like everybody. Yep. Older, younger, bigger, smaller, different skin colors, different identities. Everyone is represented. So people actually find a lot more of themselves in what they see. Ah, uh, yes. And this is the biggest problem of all. What he wants to do is he wants to normalize it. He wants to spread it such that people aren't embarrassed. Whether it's governments or companies, he wants to take it on the road. That's right. And not only that, he wants you and I to be involved. Yeah, we don't want to relegate it to a corner of our society and say, yeah, it's them. Nah, we got to all be involved. Yeah. You know, this was, I always say, this is our first investment. It's not our last investment because we see a lot to do. So you're going to get into more porn sites. No, I, that's why. <laughs> that's interesting. You know, I don't know if we are, could get into you, more. I don't know if there are, are more. You? Yeah, he's right. Which other company could they acquire? Because although the word Pornhub, that site was being used, the actual parent company that they have acquired is Alo, yeah, which used to be MindGeek, which owns the biggest pornography sites, namely Twisties, Reality Kings, Pornhub, YouPorn, Brazzers, Digital Playground, all of these that are very popular and very successful. This now makes these guys the top of the food chain. Okay, so let me ask you this. Can you tell me about the, the chairman of your company, uh, Ethical Capital Partners, about the company? Sure. Who's Rocco Meliambro? Started out uh, in financing mining and then went into the regulated cannabis space, right? Which is actually how a number of us met in the regulated cannabis space in Canada. <laughs> it just gets better and better. The guy that's the chairman, was responsible for normalizing a drug to our societies. Yeah, although your people can make the argument, oh, but it's already made legal. But why are you contributing to it? Why are you facilitating it? Why are you making a profit of the difficulty and hardship of others? And that's what it comes down to. This guy is so brazen, so proud, and tells us clearly to our faces, this is what he's going to do. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, the problem is the Muslims. Yeah, we're the ones that are, you know, Actually, no. Which Muslim that would come out and say something like this would not be held to account by his own community and would be dealt with internally? This is something that is absolutely not in line with Islam and our teachings. If somebody said, oh, I, I just learned, I did the course of being an Imam, not technically an Imam. Well, you should know better, mate. And that's why, guys, I stick by my original statement. This guy is indeed Disgusting. Let's leave it there guys. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.